Hello everybody, it's the Quiet Atheist here. This particular video that I'm making today is going to be a direct response video to Matthew Steele. Now Matthew, I am aware of the issues that you have with a previous video I have made. And just like in past conversations we have had, I want to take this opportunity to point out that in that video, on the spot, I was basically trying to correct the mistakes I was making with certain words. And I wanted to do it on the spot because I never really wanted to shut down the video and redo it because I was already in way too deep and I would have wasted all of that footage and I would have wasted what I had to say. And that's why I was just on the spot correcting myself in that video. And I apologize if the video looks crappy because of it. But I will pay attention very closely to what I have to say in other videos in the future because I want to make better videos for you and all of my subscribers you know and I realize that you know I cannot make a lot of mistakes if I'm going to make good videos so I will be careful in the future now I wanted to let you know that I am aware that there are Christians out there that support the LGBT community I am also aware that there are even Christians out there that are standing side by side with atheists who support the separation of church and state and I want you to know that I completely admire these individuals because they are willing to put their differences aside and push for what is right in this country you know because religion has no place in the government in any way shape or form it does not belong in there plain and simple period but yet if these particular Christians involved with this debacle get their way this country would be run by a theocracy and as a result of it being run by a theocracy it will be run straight into the ground and to be honest with you a lot of these Christians wouldn't even care because it's all about the money it's all about the greed it's all about the power that they want they are really not concerned with anything especially when it comes to their religious agenda and what they want to implement in the government they're not concerned about anything else so when I see Christians and atheists stand side by side and fight against this nonsense I really admire those particular Christians that are doing that and I also admire again Christians that support the LGBT community as far as equality is concerned and same-sex marriage is concerned you know because there are Christians out there that marry gay couples and I completely appreciate that and that's basically what I wanted to do. I wanted to let you know that I am aware of these Christians that do these things. And, you know, hopefully there will be more Christians in the future that would take it upon themselves to actually, you know, look at these guys and say, hey, what they're doing is completely right and that we should be doing these things as well. We should, you know, I quote, basically, you know, throw our bigotry, hatred, and, you know, all of our nonsense aside. And let's help our fellow human beings. And that's what I think a lot of these Christians should do, you know. Because a lot of these Christian fundamentalists have nothing but hate, bigotry, you know. They love to discriminate against uh, the LGBT community. They think that they are subhuman. They think that they don't have any rights like normal people do. And that's just a bunch of bullshit, you know. They treat transgender people like they are trash. They treat other people who think differently than them like trash. And it's just a big bowl of fucking nonsense, Matthew, you know, and that's what I wanted to share with you. So again, you know, last but not least, when it comes to these particular individuals supporting, you know, the separation of church and state and supporting the LGBT, com LGBT community, I appreciate that because it's a long battle, you know, and the more help that we get from a lot of people, it will be a lot better and easier for this country to develop socially and that way you know transgender gay and lesbian people would wake up in the morning and not have to worry about being discriminated against or hated on or even a, a assaulted or insulted or anything like that you know they can leave they can live their lives peacefully and that's basically what I'm for you know? and I had man I admire any Christian who thinks the same way basically Sure, we're going to disagree on, you know, the position of there being a God or not. We're always going to disagree on that. But I think it's important, you know, 
when a lot of Christians, you know, take it upon themselves to help others instead of really spewing their bigotry out, you know. That's something that's very important to me, and I want you to know that I am aware that there are Christians out there like that who are actual human beings and care for their fellow human beings, and that's something that really is important to me, and it matters a lot to me. So I thank you for watching this video. You know, Please feel free to reply if you like. Um, leave your video in the comment section down below if you want. Um, or you can just, you know, write your comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you have to say about this. And to my subscribers, you know, thank you for watching this video. Because like I've said always, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have a voice. I wouldn't have a channel. I wouldn't have anything. And that's why I want to thank you guys here and now for listening to the things that I give you guys and listening to the content that I put out to you guys on a daily basis. That's important to me, you know, and it really motivates me to see people sitting here that are willing to listen to what I have to say. That makes me happy. And I thank you all for being here for my channel and for me. So till next time, I will see you guys later.